today oh my goodness happy 2018 i know we're almost like two weeks in Anywho, so this is i finally get to sit down and talk to you guys i miss you guys i miss you guys i miss i miss this i miss us anywho guys i hope everyone is having a great start today 2018 i hope everyone is starting off the year right start off the year charged and ready to get things done ready to um, continue on your journey to loving yourself fully, ready to get your life together, ready to go complete and accomplish many goals that you have either set aside or new goals. So, speaking of goals, today's video is all about plus size brands that I want to try in 2018. So, you guys know I've always, I, I thrift a lot and I make my own, DIY, I make my own clothes and that's because I haven't, you know, I'm not able to afford certain things, but I hope God's Fingers crossed, prayers up, guys, what will be done. And all of that will change in 2018, and I'll be able to do more shopping because I will be blessed with um, money. <laughs> what? Money. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm praying that all things will change in 2018, and I'll be able to expand and grow my not only my closet, my wardrobe, but also my financial situation as well. So I am putting this on my list to do more shopping. Now, that's not the first thing I'm going to do if when things start to look up for me financially. I'm not just going to go shopping. I'm going to pay off a lot of stuff that I need to pay off. I'm gonna get I'm gonna invest a few in a few in a few things, okay? I'm gonna get my life together. But in the meantime, in between time, your girl will try to do a little shopping here and now. I'm not gonna go ham. So these are some of my top places I want my top brands and stores that I would like to try in twenty eighteen. So the first one straight off the back is hands down has to be prim. Prim is a recently new they own they just launched um I think Spring or Fall 2017 is a plus size uh, private collection by Gabby, Gabby Fresh and Gabby Griggs and Nicolette Manson. I have been fans and uh, known about Gabby and Nicolette for a very long time. They were some of the first plus size bloggers I came in contact with when I began my journey of building Full Style back in 2011 when I was an undergrad. They were both featured in Marie Claire. I think Nicolette was in Marie Claire and Gabby was in In Style or Glamour, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I still have the article clippings that I kept from the magazines when I was researching and building and working on my... Um, my full style as my class project anywho so i have been fans of them for a while so when i found that them two was collabing together to not only come out with a plus size selection but that plus size collection went up to a size 28 30 i was like yes here take my money unfortunately i didn't have enough money for them to take so i have to put i had to put that on hold for 2017 and they least and they since then they came out with two more collections and i think they're launching another one in the next few days um for the winter and spring and i'm so jealous i'm loving the pieces i've talked about prim before here on my channel i mentioned them in my um pieces that you need in your closet uh, i talked about their ferrero pants oh those pants are glorious uh i've featured them on um i think a povler set that i have on my ig their feminist af jacket I am loving everything that they're doing. I'm loving the models that they're using as, as size-wise. I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving it. I just can't wait to get my life together, have the funds, to get my hands on something. A shirt, a dress, a skirt, something. I don't need to, like, buy 45, 20, 10 pieces. I, if I could just get one, 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 I'll be happy. I'll be good. I'll be like, all right, that's, that's that goal. Accomplished. Checked. Another brand that I want to try in 2018 is Ashley Nail Tipton. She has finally released her own independent brand, separate from her brand, uh, separate from her line that she did with J.C. Penney in the boutique. She has did her own brand, and I am loving what she's coming out. She had these cute little biker shorts that I think will be perfect underneath some of dresses and, and shirt dresses that I have planned for the summer, for the spring and summer. I'm feeling those, and then she also has like this sheer maxi dress, or no, it's a, like a long shirt and it's sheer and it's like a long button-up shirt i want that in every color that's available 
because y'all know I love me an oversized shirt. Y'all know I love a button-up shirt. Y'all know I love a button-up shirt. Mm -hmm. Third brand, which not necessarily a brand, is more of a store, a website, and that is Swimwear for All. I've been wanting to try Swimwear for All since, I think before Gabby launched her actual first collection or whatever, when it was just Ashley Graham who was had a, um, a line with them. I don't know, I can't remember, but I've been wanting to try them for all. And they're relatively priced. They're not as expensive as some places. However, a lot of their premium collections, like Gabby Fresh Collection and Ashley Graham Collection, don't go up to a size 28. And if I was to get something, I could only be able to get a top in 26. And that kind of upsets me a bit. And then, when you get to a size 28, size 30, the options are not that cute. Some of them are not that cute so i've been on the fence about it but i'm praying that i could get not only my financial situation together but i could get you know to to working out whether i'm swimming because i don't like to run i hate treadmills I, I just i'd rather walk than me on the treadmill okay and i'd rather swim than walk so yeah i'm hoping that i can get this body right get it tight i'm not trying to lose a significant amount of weight i'm just trying to maintain health so hopefully i could get down to a size 26 so I could get my ass in some bottoms. And speaking of size 26 and swimwear, I also want to talk about Monique C. Monique C. You guys know the infamous Monique C. Every year she blows our fashion minds with her swimwear. And I have clipped those on some on Pinterest, on Polar. I clipped it out of magazines and it's on my vision board. I, I won't my my bottoms i want my ass and something of hers that's hus is amazing like flipped plus size swimwear on his head and gave us some dope ass sexy ass shit to look like i to look like you belong on an island somewhere being fans and fed grapes okay like just the queen you are and i just i want i want some i i want it i need it in my life okay all right moving on the last brand I want to talk about is a relatively new brand to me. Um, it is Plus Equal. Plus Equal, I've seen it all up and down my Instagram. I start following them myself. And that is crazy as bold brand. I am here with it. They are all about the iridescence, all about the sequence, all about be, let you be the unicorn mermaid fairy that you are. And I am with it. Brand. And I'm here for it. I feel like that's my soul right there. They got the sequin dresses and everything, and luckily they go up to a size 30, 32. So of course I have no, I will have no problem at all getting my ass in some clothing. I really excited to try, try plus equal again. I'm hoping that I can get my hands on at least one item from each of these brands and stores. Um, just one item. I don't need to get like three or four and like have like a big dumb haul. If I could get one item from each store i will save and i will collect it and i will come back to you guys and do a collective haul on these one item from each store because that for me that just that just be everything i just be like at least i could say i tried it at least i could say i tried something from the line and that's all i want so before i let you guys go i do want to mention some honorable mentions and these honorable mentions are brands that i have have tried but i've only tried the one or two clothing items and i just want to try more expanding the line because i really do like it and the first one is obviously i don't know if you've been paying attention but society plus i love society plus i was introduced to them by i got my first dia and co box was it my first dia and co box and i definitely want to try more society plus i want to try their tour skirts i want to try some of their sequin skirts i want to get more jackets in every color they got like a faux suede like i want it 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 i need it in my life so that's something i want to try Another brand that I want to try more is Mall Claw. I've been known about them since 2011. Again, that was another brand that I researched when I was working on Full Style for my class project and how she started her, started that brand and that company in her one-bedroom apartment. I was off of that. That was such great inspiration reading her story. And um, I was so happy years later that they expanded to plus size. And I've th I got a few pieces that I absolutely I would love to expand try more in that brand in that store because they have so much cute retro vintage stuff and every now and then i like to be a pinup doll every now and then i want to be a pinup doll like i just i live for it and i'm so excited i really want to try some more pieces and lastly another honorable mention is rev dolls rev dolls has just if for me i feel rev dolls is like my um like the actual plus size plus size girls fashion over 
or boohoo like that stuff is so cute so chic it's so affordable and i just really want to get my hands on some more stuff they got some coats that like the food and they have some nice sets i think i want to get some new sets it's just like some nice basics but they trendy basics you know what i'm saying like i know that's like maybe an oxymoron but that's how i feel like some nice trendy basics that i can just build on top of all of like give me like some nice leggings with a nice tape tank cami or tee and just throw a bomb ass duster or a uh, bomber jacket over it and just kill the game and just like or oh, a nice tank dress or something like that you know you know i just i really want to try words on then they got some outstanding pieces you know like, oh that's dope i like that and it's like a standalone piece so hopefully i could be able to get to my hands on some hopefully soon because i'm planning to do a very special a very sexy special video for valentine's day so hopefully i can get my hands on some pieces from reptile soon since they are seemingly somewhat of the affordable of the ones that i mentioned and they always have in sales always 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 okay that's it that's it for today's video i just want to sit down and share with you guys some of my shopping lists some of my shopping goals my wish list for 2018 there are a few brands i didn't mention and that's because i'm just i'm just getting introduced and learning them out but those are the top ones that i definitely want to get my hands on for 2018 and i'm so very excited i get that i hope you get the opportunity i am looking for blessings to come through this year god's favor to happen so i'm planning once i get everything paid off that i need to get paid off get my life together your girl plans to do some shopping so you guys stay tuned for that okay support you thank you guys so much for those who um watched and, and chimed in to my live stream that was fun i would like to do one of those again probably next month i'll probably do a uh shop with me come thrifting with me how would you guys like that a live thrift a live stream thrift but how would you guys like to see they go along with me and i can show you guys exactly what i look for and how to look for certain things and you know you guys help me pick out what should i get what should i not get so we'll work on we'll how about that would you guys like that I think that would be cool. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a live shopping thrifting video. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.